Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. Crab cake. I want to do crab cake, one of the glory of New England. I didn't know crab cake when I came to this country. And I want to show you how to do it very simply. I have two little slices of bread here, and this is uh, thin bread with fresh bread crumb. Fresh bread crumb is always better than uh, the dry one. That is, it's not really better. It's only that uh, with one little slice of bread like that, you do like uh, half a cup, three quarters of a cup of, uh, of bread crumb. If I were to do crouton with that and put the crouton in there, I would have two or three tablespoons of uh, two or three tablespoons of bread crumb per slice of bread. As you can see here, my two slices of bread. I have over a cup of breadcrumb. You know? Yeah, so I may not use all of it, but. So here I have eight ounces of lamb crab. And those are very expensive lamb crab, those large pieces like that. But it, it is the best. They are very, really, very really good. With that, we're going to put like one, two, Three, like four tablespoons of, uh, of mayonnaise, mm. a little dash of salt, and uh, some scallion. Fine thin. You can put another type of herb if you want. So here I have two large scallions, which is probably at least a quarter of a cup. So I am going to mix this in there with breadcrumb. And that should do, you know, for crab cake. Well, so I put uh, a little more bread crumb, so that would be about about three quarters of a cup here. Okay. And then, of course, we can do that ahead. Mold them and have ready whenever you're ready to saute them. I will have a couple of tablespoons of, uh, of olive oil, one at least. Maybe a tablespoon of butter, go with it. And I can start molding those. One, two, three, three, four, okay. Of course, you can do larger one on the first go. That would be more of our first course. Yeah. And here, I'm going to saute them like this. I could even put more breadcrumb here, and I have some left. You know, when you mold it like this, you could mold it and dip it in there. Okay. Remember that everything is basically cooked in there, so you just want to get them hot, nice and crusty. Yes. I will even lower the heat a little more. Because there is many variations, you put eggs in it, you can put all kinds of stuff. Then we'll do a sauce with that. I will have about, uh, I would say, third of a cup of mayonnaise, a good teaspoon of horseradish in there, like two or three tablespoons of uh, 
V8. Give me the color and a bit of spice. If I want it more spicy, I can even put a little bit of the hot sauce at sambal, like half a teaspoon, maybe. This would be cooked enough. I would stop it. Mix that in there. Good. I think I'll add a little bit of lemon juice to that too, for acidity. A couple of tablespoons of chives, and that's it. So, I would probably, as I say, serve that at the first course. When you spread out a sauce like that, it's always better to put it right in the center and spread it from the center out instead of trying to come, instead of often trying to come to do it on the side like this. Here we are. We saw this beautifully brown on both sides, as you can see. One. Two, three, and four. That piece is for the chef. Mm. In the center of that, the sage is just coming out, so a little piece of shade for decoration. And here it is, the crab cake with a hot sauce at the first course. Bon appétit and happy cooking. <laughs>